Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Matt Pierce and welcome back to the Budget Mark 6 GTI. Today we're going to be talking about budget car mods, aka car mods that are under $100 that you can do to your car. You know, really cheap stuff, cheap but fun, right? That's usually kind of the motto here. And the GTI is looking pretty good, all nice and lowered on my Koenig wheels. But there are actually a lot of performance mods you can get and visual car mods that you can get for under $100. Now starting with interior stuff, I have an Alcantara steering wheel wrap that I got from eBay and I think it looks quite good. I had to stitch it myself. It took about four and a half hours to do but I think it came out all right and it feels nice and it's a, it was a fun cheap car mod. Moving on to another cheap car mod that you can do and that is wrapping your interior with uh, various vinyl wraps and different colors and such. This is a Mark 6 GTI and the Mark 7 GTIs have uh, gloss black interiors and I kind of wanted to go for that look so I bought a cheap gloss black vinyl wrap off of eBay and with Caleb's help, he actually uh, helped me vinyl wrap my interior and I think it came out all right. Now, since I have a Mark VI GTI, some of these are gonna be GTI specific, but this is the Euro switch that you can get for your GTI. This only cost me about uh, $25 and it has automatic headlights and it comes with a little daylight sensor. Uh, so that's a cool thing you can get for your Mark VI GTI. Our next cheap mod is actually uh, floor mats. Now, these are a little bit dirty, sorry about that. I picked these floor mats up for 50 bucks since my car didn't come with them. These are just OEM GTI floor mats, but for a lot of cars out there um, on eBay and such, you can find some really cool floor mats on my Accord, which is the previous car I owned. I found a really nice set of cheap floor mats. I think they're about 80 bucks. So floor mats can really spice up your interior and they're usually not too much money. Now my car doesn't actually have this mod, but I know it is a very popular one to do and some of my friends have it. It's LED lights that sort of go under your dashboard on your driver's side and your passenger side and you can even do under the seats uh, for the rear seats. And it's just LED lights that change buttons with the little controller those can usually go for like 20 30 bucks And that's an awesome interior mod to do it's something I do want to do to this car But I just have not really gone to yet you can actually vinyl wrap your mirrors, a carbon fiber sort of wrap, or even a uh, black wrap, which can look really good on a lot of cars. So mirror wraps and even mirror caps can be under $100. Cool mod to do, and it's probably something that I'll do at some point for this car. Another sort of wrap thing that you can do for your car, and I don't have it on this one, is up here you can actually get a tint brow on eBay and vinyl wrap it on a sort of a black strip across your car, and I think it looks pretty good as long as they aren't too big and you don't have like crazy wording on them or anything like that but if you want to put words on your uh, banner that is another thing that's under a hundred dollars but yes I think banners do look pretty good usually moving on to some more exterior stuff brake calipers they can be painted and usually it costs under a hundred dollars all you have to do is clean up and sand off your old calipers and just get some decent caliper paint and paint them up and uh, I repainted these red they come red from the factory but my paint was fading and I repainted them red with some VHT caliper paint and uh, they turned out quite awesome I think they look good so that's always a nice one that you can do now here is another one that you can do and that is blacking out or changing the color of your badges. Now I actually did this earlier with this car. I uh, just got some spray vinyl wrap and I painted all of my badges black and it held up for about, you know, a half a year or so, but eventually it fell off. I just ordered new gloss badges for my car and they're in the mail right now, but you can also get them uh, for badges like, you know, if you have a GTI, for example, your GTI badge, or a lot of cars will come with uh, different colored uh, badges that you can swap out for and that is a cheap mod that you can do. Here is a controversial one. You can tint your tail lights uh, if that's what you're into. When I actually order new headlights, I'll get mine you know, like sort of a little bit smoked, but I don't really like black tail lights. But yeah, that is something you can do and it's relatively cheap and that is tint your tail lights. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about exhaust. So exhaust tips are definitely an easier mod to change out and swap out for a nice larger pair of exhaust tips or a different style of exhaust tip. And even even some exhausts can be, ex entire exhaust systems off eBay can be uh, cheaper than $100. My friend Theo just got one from a Subaru that I actually really liked. It fit up nicely and it looked nice and it sounded great and it was about $100. 
but even then you can still get uh, exhaust systems for about $100 or way under $100 if you hack up the current exhaust system on your car, which means cutting mufflers off, you know, getting cheap resonators and putting those in and using exhaust clamps and stuff like that. And I actually did that to this car when I first got it. And you know what? I'm not complaining. It was really, uh, it was nice when I had it. And it was nice to have a loud car finally when I got this one and was able to hack up my exhaust. But now I still have a hacked up exhaust system. It's just custom with valve mufflers and a cutout and stuff like that. I have a whole video on it. But yes, you can definitely DIY an exhaust system for under $100 and it will come out very satisfactory. All right, let's go under the hood real quick. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome under the hood. Let's get the GTI specific stuff out of the way first. Now the PCV valve right here commonly fails on the Mark VI GTI. So I got an indestructible diaphragm off of eBay for around $30 and that fixed my PCV issue. So that's something I would definitely recommend doing as a mod for the GTI that's under $100. And uh, for everybody, an oil change is a cheap thing to do. Make sure you do your oil changes. Uh, you really can't see it in there. I did a whole video on it though. On the turbo on the Mark VI GTI, you can actually get a little bit of play in the wastegate arm actuator. And there is a clip that they sell, I think it's about 30 bucks, and that is a great mod to do. It can improve how well your wastegate lets off boost, and that is a Mark VI GTI specific thing that I definitely would recommend doing for under $100. Here's the thing, for most cars, this will be under $100. Coil packs up here, I have upgraded ones for the GTI and better spark plugs as well that can be a common mod to do for under a hundred dollars for your car and it's just something you should do anyways coil packs and spark plugs it's cheap it's easy and it will uh it's good preventative maintenance it really is now next thing for under a hundred dollars a lot of cars you guys can actually get intakes for under a hundred dollars i know it was like that for my accord which was the previous car that i owned now on the gti intakes are pretty expensive but i believe there actually is one intake that you guys can buy for under a hundred dollars or it's around a hundred dollars or you guys can uh, kind of DIY your own intake for your cars and that usually works out successfully as long as you have a filter and filters are cheap. They're like 30 bucks for a big cone filter at O'Reilly's and you can get some tubing and just DIY an intake. That's often a common thing and that's, uh, that's probably one of the best mods that you can do as a starter cheap mod for your car. Just a quick thing I would like to mention, things like splitters or canards oftentimes you will find for under $100 on eBay depending on the car. Are. You know, you won't find anything too fancy or nice, but if that's what you're into, you can definitely find that stuff on eBay. This next one is a little bit car dependent, but LED lights for your headlights are often, you know, something that you might overlook, but can be a very, very nice uh, mod for under $100. This really depends on the car. For my car, because it's a European, you know, Volkswagen, LED headlights for me are like $250, but for most cars, pretty much every car, it's going to be like maybe 50 bucks max for LED headlights and it's really an awesome thing to have especially for driving at night and once you do it you'll be like yeah that was that was a great cheap mod to do and this is actually a cheaper one for this car even too for uh, lighting I've got yellow fog lights they came with my car but I know they weren't too much money and you can even get LED ones too for really cheap a side mount license plate is an awesome car mod that you can get usually for uh, extremely cheap off eBay not everyone is the biggest fan of the side mount plate I liked it on my Accord and I really like it on my GTI so I think it just gives it that nice look honestly and it you know it just lets more air into the front mount intercooler at least if you have a turbo car with a front mount intercooler and here's another mod actually just cutting stuff off of your car can oftentimes you know improve it depending on what you want for me I wanted that big front mount intercooler look so I just cut my entire grill out like that and uh, a lot of people think it looks like garbage and I wouldn't blame them for thinking that but I quite like that front mount intercooler look. I think it gives it a nice performance look to the car. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think I have covered pretty much every uh, cheap DIY car mod under $100 that I can think of at the moment. If you have any more, please feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'm sure uh, the fellow viewers would love to hear those under $100 car mods. But yeah, everybody, for now, I am Matt Pierce. Thank you so much for watching, and, uh, and thank you for all your support on my videos so far. I hope this video has helped some of you guys out. I'm Matt Pierce, and I'll see you guys in another one. Goodbye.